Whew. What up, y'all? What up? What up? What up? What up? What's going on? Welcome to another Marco Monday's conversation. This is a Facebook Live conversation. We do this every Monday. I am author Christopher Marklin. I am a black author, and damn it, I matter. <laughs> anyway, um, tonight's conversation is going to be about nice guys. Now, before we get started, first of all, I just want to say thank everyone for joining in. Thank you, Talise. Thank you, Alicia. What up, Alicia? Uh, thank you, Talise. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you all for joining the conversation. Now, first things first, make sure that you uh, comment, share. Please share this live. Let everybody know what, uh, what we talk about. We do this every single Monday. Rain, well, I'm inside anyway, whatever. I do this every Monday. We have a different conversation, a different topic. We talk about all things dealing with dating. And you know why? Because I love love. And what that means is, please, what up, Cosette? What that means is I love love. So hit that love um, emoticon or reaction button, whatever they call that thing. Let me know that you're out there. So like I said, please make sure you comment, make sure you share, uh, tell a friend, and by all means, ask questions, join the conversation. All right. So as I said, tonight's conversation is going to be about nice guys. Now, I'm not a fan of nice guys because quite honestly, nice guys are really and truly just dudes who are hiding who they really are. And because of that, to me, they are dangerous, all right? Nice guys to me are dangerous. And the reason why is this. If you have to hide who you really are or be somebody that you really are not or act or perform or do something any in any way, shape, man, or form that is not who you really and truly and honestly are, sooner or later you become resentful because you think that that person has put you in that situation so that's to me is why nice guys are dangerous also nice guys believe that they are owed something just because of something that they do all right now i get it i personally am a good guy um dana in the chat and remember we always have a chat uh, about 30 30 to 45 minutes before um i do go live we have a chat um, on my Facebook page at uh, author Christopher Marklin. So make sure that if you haven't liked the page, please do so. But every, um, before we the, the show goes live, like I said, we have this conversation. So one of the comments that was made and um, Dana made the comment was that, hey, good guys don't need to advertise who they are either. If you're a nice guy and you say, well, I'm a nice guy. Well, you, you don't have to say what you are. It's gonna be shown in your actions. It's gonna be shown in your behavior. It's gonna be shown in how you carry yourself. And quite honestly, the same thing works for good guys as well. Now, I'm proud to say that I am a good guy. I don't walk around, you know, my shirt says black authors matter. It doesn't say this is a good guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to say that. Quite honestly, it's up to the person that I'm with to say, hey, he is a good guy or he ain't shit, whichever one, okay? You don't advertise who you are. However, let's talk about the qualities of a good guy. As you know, before um, I do a little bit of research on, on all of our topics so we can speak intelligently about it. Um, you know, uh, qualities of a good guy. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Also, let me know what you think some qualities of a good guy are as well. Um, uh, qualities of a good dude. Uh, he does something nice without expecting something in return. All right. Uh, another quality is he does something nice. I just do the same thing twice. Okay. He knows his strength without threatening you. Okay. Um, that's a good question, Cosette. Cosette in the, the um, comment section asked a question, good or nice? Is that interchangeable? Yes or no? But um, yes, yes, it can be colloquialism, colloquially, but what we're talking about are just how they're used in the context of dating and in relationships. Usually when a guy, a nice guy is really quite honestly, as far as I'm concerned, let me know if you disagree or not, a nice guy is really a euphemism for a dishonest guy. All right. Um, in the chat that we had earlier, Michelle um, brought up a situation that she was in. There was a guy that was pursuing her. And um, what that guy was was, you know, he, he was saying, you know, hey, I want to date you. I want to do this. I want to do that. But the minute that she rejected him, that's when she became all kinds of bitches and hoes. And you ain't this and you ain't that. All right. So. Yes, they can be quote the same, but just for the sake of this conversation, what we're saying is that a nice guy is really a, a man who 
hides who he is. And the minute that he gets rejected, the minute that he gets turned down in any way, or the minute that he doesn't get what he wants in return for being nice, then that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what we're talking about in this conversation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, get some drink. So to Lise, she had a great um, acronym for a nice guy. Now, this is what she thinks is, is, you know, describes a nice guy to her. The acronym that she uses, N stands for nourishing, I stands for intelligent, C stands for captivating, E stands for equipped. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have a conversation. You know what, we're, um, we're gonna have a conversation coming up on sexual chemistry, um, speaking of equipment. So just wanna put that out there. So like we said, to me, just using, you know, the, 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 the words nice guy to describe a guy who really and truly is dishonest with, with, with who they are, then that to me is, is, a, is a guy that knows that he wants something. So instead of just saying, hey, you know what? I wanna get with you or whatever, he acts nice, meaning he does things for you, thinking that he's building up nice capital so that he can cash in the check later on in order to get what he wants. That's just dishonest behavior in my opinion. Cause guess what, ladies, you may not know this, all guys want the twat all guys want twat now the crazy thing is they may want it from a man or they may want it from a woman but you know whatever their personal preference is but guess what at the end of the day that's what a dude wants um so if 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 you want something in return but instead of being honest about it or you know approaching the relationship in an open and honest way but instead you're doing something you're you're moving calculatingly in order to get to the end result then that's not honest behavior okay so that's what we're talking about and talise has a good point the e in equip doesn't necessarily mean sexual you know I, I just use that as a segue onto the the conversation that we're going to have at a later date but she's exactly right being equipped doesn't mean in a sexual connotation but we're gonna we're gonna circle back around to that so basically um to to, to follow back up on the point that i was saying all men want a woman if you will okay all men want the twat let's just let's just be a little bit blunt with it but instead of saying hey i want you in this way they instead start moving around and start moving and maneuvering and you know just just plotting to get what they want because they think that hey i ch um i was nice seven times so that means that i um i want this because I'm owed it because I was nice. That is not what we're talking about, okay? That's not quote unquote nice behavior, okay? So so that's what we're talking about. That's what I, I feel in regards to that. Um, let's see, going through my notes right here. Also, let's see, a couple traits of quote unquote nice guys. Remember we were just using in the context of this conversation. Nice guys don't mind waiting and waiting and waiting ladies have you been with a guy or known a guy that know you know he wants to get with you you know that he's attracted to you but instead of him getting up off his butt and saying hey i like you i want you i want to get with you instead he acts nice 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 to wear you down to where you give in and be like hey let's go out have you ever been in that kind of a situation that to me is nice guy behavior another nice guy behavior like i said they want points for being nice in other words instead of just being who they are being a gentleman being you know we had the conversation on chivalry whatever the case may be instead of that they just want points for being nice remember those old uh those subway cards yeah, you, you they click it every time and once you hit like eight points you get a free sandwich instead they're well i was nice eight times Time, so I think I need some sex or I need some some kind of reward for being nice instead of being a good person for the sake of that all right um, a quote-unquote nice guy they get upset when the world doesn't play fair because remember for them it's tit for tat I did this so you give me that I did this I want some of that you know that kind of thing so to them when they don't get what they want in return it's not fair you know that kind of thing also quote unquote nice guys they think that they that women are victims of men so instead what they try to do is well i'm not like those other guys i'm gonna treat you not now be who you are you know what i'm saying they think once again that they should be rewarded for being good it doesn't work that way um 
another trait of quote unquote nice guys are that they don't understand why women want bad boys. Now, any of y'all ladies in the chat, do y'all want bad boys? Let me know. I'm just curious. What is the appeal to a bad boy in relation to a quote unquote nice guy? I, 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 I see the point of this one, but I want to hear what you guys think. Um, and here's another one. Uh, Okay, I mean, we're gonna talk about that one, Marnie. Um, another guy, uh, another trait of quote unquote nice guys are they think that women really don't like sex. So in other words, the woman doesn't want sex. Is you know she doesn't get any pleasure from that. That's just reserved for men. So therefore, if a woman wants sex from from it, it's convoluted. But like I said, that is just indicative of nice guy behavior so uh, that's the question marnie just said uh, michelle excuse me just asked the question what is a bad boy marnie in the, in the comment section said that she had a nice guy help her set up for a party and he stayed at your house for two days that's what they call a hobo sexual oh that's interesting okay um <laughs> that's that's what's up so basically they just hung around i guess that's nice guy behavior um y'all in the chat tell me give me a, um, a scenario if you've had one of a nice guy that started out one way and completely flipped on you i'd love to hear about that um let's see going through my notes uh, like we said, Dana in the chat, she said that nice guys don't have to advertise who they are, and she's 100% right. Um, good guys don't don't have to do that either. You are who you are, so you should not have to say I am this, I am that, in order to get points for who you honestly and truly are. Uh, let's see, going through the other conversations that we had as well. Let's see, um, in the chat. Uh, Eni says, uh, basically said that, uh, it's not a nice guy. Instead, it's a passive aggressive guy. And you know what? That is so true. A lot of dudes and just a lot of people in our society period, especially as the internet and the online community has blown up. There's so much passive aggressive behavior. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's the person that wants to, you know, hit you with the subliminal means and the subliminal comments or whatever. You get a whole lot of that. I'm sure you ladies have seen it. Man, it sure would be nice if I could find a good woman. Knowing damn well he's talking to the woman that he tried or wants to holler at. And because he liked a few pictures or he put a few, um, you know, hard eyes on, on a comment or whatever, it feels like, oh shit, she should bust it wide open or something like that. And when it doesn't happen, then that's when the subliminals start happening all right uh let's see michelle said that she had a guy who was inboxing in her inbox for years hitting her with the wyd y'all know that what you doing or them good morning texts but anyway um he was w wyd her to death and she just went about her business and then like uh when and when he wasn't getting the attention that he wanted it was a whole bunch of bitches and hoes and all of that whack stuff so that definitely is part of what happens in, in the dating world nowadays. What's going on, Monique? Thank you for joining the chat. Tonight's conversation is about quote unquote nice guys. If you've ever had a situation where you've been with a nice guy, let me know. Now, in full disclosure, I've been, I've, I've been in a situation where I, 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 I was a nice guy because in, in a, instead of me being forthright with what I wanted, instead of being me being, you know, aggressive if you will and making a move and say hey you know what let me holler at you instead i played the background and you know just did that bs and quite honestly it didn't work out because that's not my nature i'm not that dude and when i realized that you know what this ain't how i, I operate it didn't work out deuces i was out I, I i when you start off on some bs you're gonna end on some bs and quite honestly that's what um that's what happened to me uh let's see marnie said she left him on the couch and told him to lock up i came home from work to find him still there and he made dinner with <laughs> he made dinner with your food <laughs> oh shit, i'm sorry that's funny <laughs> you came home to a whole cooked meal <laughs> <laughs> he became a hobo husband. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny to me. <laughs> oh shit, that's hilarious. Oh god, I'm so sorry, but that's funny. Oh snap, let me get back on track. She had a hobo husband. Dude move slap it. 
<laughs> anyway, Monique says she loves nice guys until she needs them to be a thug. But here's the thing, Monique, you can't make a make somebody be who they're not. Um, like I said, what we've been talking about are nice guys are dudes that act a certain way. They act nice in return for some kind of conjugal <sighs> compensation. You know what I'm saying? Instead of them being who they really are and say, hey, you know what, Monique? You kind of cute. This is what I want to do with you. Instead, <laughs> I'm sorry, Marty said he had candles lit. He's a romantic hobo husband. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's funny to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. That's funny. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Oh God. Anyway, um, oh God, I'm so sorry. That is just hilarious to me. Anyway, uh, what we're talking about, uh, Monique and everybody else that just joined the conversation for those of y'all that are on YouTube that are going to be watching this as well. The conversation is about quote unquote, nice guys. And really when you get down to the bait to what it really is, the base level is basically dudes not being who they really are, not being, you know, presenting themselves as being honest instead they act a certain way in trying to get a, an end result what i really want and this is really the the object of all of these marklin mondays is i want us to have open honest and healthy dating relationships with start which start with open honest healthy conversations you know we spoke about red flags we've talked about you know all of those things and then you know you, you have to get to a point to where you expect certain things to happen um, by being honest you know and by when I mean certain things to happen meaning you know what when you have conversations you are now able to make a decision as to whether you want to stay with that person or if you want to bounce like Monique said if that person is lying then guess what you got to get the hell on because you know that that person is not right for you um, you know it's 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 that's what dating is about I'm trying not to read the, the chat because y'all are being real silly there. Monique said that if she would came home and old boy was still there, he would have got a mouth full. But she ain't talking about food. Oh, God, y'all, the visual of a dude just sitting up in the house with a... I just see, like, you remember that scene in Baby Boy? <laughs> she walked in the door, dude sitting there with an apron on cooking. Anyway, I'm sorry. Let me stay focused on this. The nice guys, we have, we all run into situations where we're attracted to somebody. Once we get to the point where we can honestly and maturely approach that person, have that conversation and, and be able to engage in healthy relationships, I, I think a lot is going to change. A lot is going to change, not just for you, but for that other person as well. And with each healthy relationship that we're able to foster, I hate to sound all pie in the sky, but I think the world's going to be a better place too. It's amazing what love can change. Making love is a beautiful thing, but you know, it only lasts a good 30 seconds, 45 with Viagra, but you, you, you gotta, you gotta start somewhere. You understand? Know we gotta start somewhere. So, uh, let me try to get back on this chat because y'all are being real silly in this thing today. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Once again, the conversation he was wearing his oh, okay you know what we're gonna wrap this one up tonight <laughs> we're gonna wrap this one up y'all thank y'all so much for joining this mark the monday's conversation as always all of these previous all of the previous um all of the previous uh, Mark and Monday's conversations can be found in the video section on Facebook and also in the um, Mark and Monday's playlist on my YouTube channel. So make sure if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, just type in Christopher Markland. You'll see my CM logo. Just click that and be sure you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you have not, go to my Facebook page at author Christopher Markland. Make sure you like the page comment leave a leave a comment let me know what you think as well and as always i want y'all to have a great week and i will see y'all next week monday for the next mark on monday's conversation y'all have a good one